Hi, my name is Don Creekmore, owner of The Nation's Attic, and in for sale today is probably the most requested and the most collectible diving helmet in the world, the United States Navy Mark V. And this particular one that we have for sale is a classic made by the A. Schrader Sun Company during World War II. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here so you can take a closer look at it. Now this particular helmet is complete, it's original, and it is the classic example as I mentioned from World War II. It was made in August of 1943 um, right there in Brooklyn, New York. Now the first key feature of these Mark V's of course is the identification plate where we have that date and we also have the helmet's serial number right here. Now with Schrader helmets like this we want to of course make sure that the top and the bottom are original to each other. So if we take a look at the serial number we should also have a matching number right up here on the communications cup and Schrader always put that number right here on the bottom edge and that number is matching up here to the one on the breastplate. Uh, so we know the top and bottom are serial number matching to each other. Now also on Schrader helmets, Mark V's like this, if we take the brails off, these four straps here, and we look up underneath, we'll see a serial number there as well. And all four of these are serial number matching to the identification plate and the top. So great, complete, fully serial number matching example. Now the other great part, great history of this helmet is, is that a lot of these, of course, made during World War II were ordered by the government. This one has a U.S. Navy inspection stamp right up here on the communications cup as well. So we know this helmet was put into the Navy inventory. And by the looks of it, by the patina of this helmet, we can just tell it was certainly used without a doubt. Now as we rotate the helmet around we've probably got about 50% of the original tinning remaining on the copper body. So that's the gray uh, material here that would have originally fully covered the copper body and that was just to prevent corrosion of the copper from salt water. Uh, all the hardware, we've got the guards here surrounding the glass, all of that is present. Uh, all of the original hardware, the 12 wing nuts, we've got those as well. If we go around to the back here, uh, we have the, the dumbbell safety locking mechanism, fully intact with the chain and the cotter pin there. Now, always missing on these Mark V's, communications cap. This one's present. There's a hole right out the center, so the line uh, would come right out here, and that's probably why this cap is still present. Also, we have an original Schrader marked non-return valve. It has the cap, which is always missing, still there. Interestingly enough, the non-return valve is stamped twice with the U.S. Navy inspection stamp. Uh, so very cool, neat extra feature there. Uh, but overall wonderful patina. You might notice here that the brails are uh, just a little bit on the shiny side. When we found this helmet it apparently had been sitting somewhere like in a barn or an attic for decades. It was covered in a lot of gunk. We had to clean those up so there is a bit of a shine. Uh, if you want that will dole up over time. A patina will develop on there. Um, so nothing to worry about there. These are the originals. No doubt about it. Now, uh, you know, obviously, as we mentioned, this helmet was used. Uh, so we have the top window up here pushed in just a little bit. You know, obviously, during, during a dive, uh, got a little close to something, dented this in to a degree. If we swing it around to the back, uh, we've got a dent right here at back center. Might be kind of hard to see there. Uh, if I move it around, though, you might be able to see that dent right here. And then we also have a dent here at the very top, at the 12 o'clock position. Now, both of these dents, they don't go through the copper body at all, but there's certainly something we wanted to mention. Um, as a display piece, something that you're looking at from the front, both of these dents aren't really visual. This right here, not really a, a visual issue either, but we certainly wanted to mention it. Uh, internally, all the air vents are present. Uh, we've got the gasket at the neck ring present as well. So just a great complete example. You know, once again, these World War II examples like this helmet are probably the most popular. And it's vitally important for these helmets, especially Schrader helmets, where the serial numbers are known to exist on the outside here, that all that is there. So, you know, great piece, perfect for display, just has a wonderful look to it. If you would like additional high-resolution photos of this helmet, please don't hesitate to give us a call. 
or a text or an email, of course. Um, our phone number is country code 1, area code 316-371-1828. And our email address is helmets at nationsattic.com. Nations Attic is a sponsoring member of the Historical Diving Society in the United States and the United Kingdom. And we also have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Once again, my name is Don, owner of the Nation's Attic, and I certainly look forward to talking to you. Bye.